Hi, my name is Amadeus and in this presentation I'm going to give a short overview of our work on augmenting visual place recognition with structural cues. Place recognition is a key ability for localization and autonomous navigation, especially so in GPS-denied environments. A popular approach to recognize places is to do so based on single images. But this can be quite challenging, as we can see here. All three images capture the same location, which appears very differently in each image. The first one has been taken in the evening and exhibits some lens flare from lights directed towards the camera. The second picture is from a sunny day, resulting in very high contrast and sharp shadow transitions. Finally, the third picture is taken in winter, making the scene appear differently once more. To achieve a place recognition system that can co cope with such drastic changes in appearance, we need to find invariances that allow us to match images taken at the same location while not matching images from different locations. Traditionally, image matching and place recognition have been based on local visual features in the images. Whether two images match or not would be derived from an aggregate of feature similarities. So, the invariance for challenging conditions would need to be captured in the feature descriptors. More recently, neural network architectures are used which directly transform the input image into a descriptor. They are trained in such a way that the distance between descriptors obtained from images of the same location is small, while the distance between descriptors obtained from images of different locations is large. Images can then simply be matched based on that distance in descriptor space and invariances can be learned in a data-driven end-to-end manner. But what if we didn't just use image matching for place recognition? A wide body of work exists which exploits the 3D structure of the environment to recognize places. Many of these approaches, however, require additional sensors such as lighters. In our work, we aim for relying on cameras only, which, for example, would be advantages if we want to deploy our system on drones. In fact, sparse to semi-dense structural information can be obtained from cameras using structure for motion. In previous work, we have investigated exploiting such visually obtained structural information for place recognition, but have received mixed results when comparing the performance to purely appearance-based methods. So, in this work, we explore combining the best of both worlds. We propose a new neural network architecture which takes as input both images and voxel grids representing the visual and structural features of the scene. These inputs are initially processed separately. First, visual features are extracted from the images. Second, structural features are extracted from the voxel grids. And finally, these features are globally pooled and then fused into a single location descriptor. Our method is both trained and tested on the Oxford Robocar dataset, with training and testing done in geographically non-overlapping regions. The Oxford Robocar dataset captures strong variations in visual appearance due to weather and season. It includes approximately 100 sequences of the same 10km route through central Oxford, recorded at different times throughout a full year. The results that follow are obtained from evaluating recall at one of our proposed place recognition system. The system is given the full data record from one sequence as its so-called database. It is then queried with data from a different sequence recorded in a different visual condition. To compute recall at one, the system is asked to provide a single match for every query. We consider the match correct if it is within 20 meters of the query and incorrect otherwise. Recall at 1 then is the fraction of correct matches across all possible queries. The following results are obtained by averaging the recall at 1 across 45 different query and database sequence combinations. First of all, our results include a comparison of different fusion methods to combine the two input modalities. It turns out that the simplest one Concatenation of globally pooled deep convolutional features results in best performance. Next, we observe that for all of the evaluated sequence pairings, our composite descriptor benefits from fusing both visual and structural cues and outperforms descriptors encoding features of only one of the two input modalities. 
Last but not least, we demonstrate that our approach outperforms multiple baselines, including state-of-the-art, off-the-shelf and fine-tuned NetLUT variants, multi-process fusion, dense flood, and sexlam. We also note that our approach works very well at low descriptor dimensionality. This figure shows the recall at one performance as a function of the descriptor dimension, that is, the number of coefficients in the descriptor, which is a tunable parameter. Using a low descriptor dimensionality allows for significantly more efficient database retrieval. As can be seen here, our descriptor performs well even at very low dimensionality, outperforming NetLUT by 23.6% at 64 dimensions.